Well, here's my old Razor Imperator Battlefield 3 edition, and it's old, so I'm kicking it to the curb. Time to get something new, like the Corsair M65 Performance Gaming Mouse. Also picked up a new mouse pad, too, to go with it. The Vengeance MM200, also by Corsair. <laughs> Teabag Express! Teabag Express! Alright, let's go ahead and kick things off by opening up this Vengeance MM200. And here you see I got my trusty scissors I use to open just about everything. You guys keep saying you're going to send me pocket knives and stuff because you don't like me using scissors and other sharp objects to open shit. But you know what? That's part of my charm. I'm redneck for life. Well, once you cut the seal, it opens up like a map. You just pop the top off and there you have it. The mouse pad is rolled up and inside. Uh, the packaging actually seems pretty damn fancy for just a mouse pad. So the first thing we're going to want to do like you do with any opening is to sniff the contents. And it smells like ass, just as you'd expect. But to be honest, it doesn't smell as bad as other mouse pads I've had. Uh, my Myonic Sargus mouse pad pretty much smelled like ass and the whole place reeked. Now, all the languages on the back here are many and different, so I'm not going to read all those. Um, just toss that away. As you guys can probably tell by now, I am doing a voiceover because I completely screwed up the audio while I was recording. Fucking numb nuts. God, you'd think I'd figure this out by now after 200 plus videos. All right, well, there's the mouse pad laid out on my desk right there. And you can see I'm just wiping some of the crap off of it because I got tons of dust and shit everywhere. But it's very floppy and it's very thin and the backside is all rubberized. There's like a heavy rubber coating on the back of the pad. So... It's actually, yeah, I mean, it's pretty nice, but to be honest, when I first pulled that out of the packaging, I was like, wow, the packaging probably cost more to make than the damn mouse pad. But uh, another thing you can see right here is I'm demonstrating how you can slide it around on the desk. For some reason, my wood surface isn't gripping the rubber very well. I'd imagine on most desks this would work just fine, but for some reason, mine, it doesn't. Probably because I put end dust on it or something. All right, this uber piece of paper that came along with it pretty much says in about a million words in 20 different languages that the pad is warranted for two years up to lifetime. I don't really know what that means. I don't really care. All right, well, I think we've bullshitted around about mouse pads enough. Let's move on to the Corsair M65. After all, this is the mouse. This is the true hardware. This isn't just a piece of felt glued onto a rubber base. Um, but granted, the mouse pad actually is pretty kick-ass. I'm not going to say that it isn't. It's just a mouse pad. So go ahead and crack this thing open. You can see I use my trusty scissors again. We're going to go ahead and pull out the packaging like we usually do. You can see there's some clear packing on top. You flip it around. It's got a blue USB connector. That must mean that it's just epic uh, to fool stupid people into thinking it's Bluetooth compatible. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and just chuck that shit out of the way. You know I don't want that there. So come on, get that mouse out of there. Dude, shut up. We can't hear you. Okay, so... There's the mouse, and that's what it looks like with my hand. So the first thing I notice when I pick it up is the thing weighs a ton. Compared to my Razer Imperator, it probably weighs another half again as much weight, and that's because the thing's pretty much made out of metal. And here we got the only piece of paper that comes with it, and it's folded like a flag. All right, that's really awesome, but in a nutshell, it says the same bullshit, that there's a limited warranty on the mouse, and who to contact if the buttons fall off or it catches fire. All right, so here we have the mice side by side. So you can kind of get an idea of the size of them. And the weight is crazy. The, the weight on the Corsair is much more than the Battlefield uh, Imperator that I have. And uh, you definitely can tell the build quality by feeling them. Now the cables are very similar. They're both braided and they're both kind of a cloth-like material. And uh, except for the one on the Corsair is much more rigid. It's uh, And the one on the Imperator is like a lot uh, kind of smoother and bends easier. Now looking at the bottom, you can see the weights. There's three points where the weights are inserted in into that mouse and the Imperator itself has no weighting system whatsoever. So that alone I like. And uh, you can see it has three pads on the bottom of it, whereas the Corsair has five pads to glide along. So the Corsair does tend to glide a lot smoother. Um, if you look at my hand on the mouse, you can see my fingers actually stick out quite a ways. I have really large hands. Um, don't read into that too much, ladies. <laughs> and uh, my fingers go off the end of the buttons. So I do have to kind of pull my fingers up, kind of arch them a little bit to be able to push the buttons comfortably. So we'll see how that affects me over time. But I think it's just one of those things I need to get used to. And the mouse is a lot taller and has a higher arch to it um, in the back. The Imperator was more of a low profile slope. Now, the wheels on both mice work really really well, but the thing I noticed on the Corsair mouse was the clicking on the mouse on, on the wheel is a lot better. Um, it, just, it just feels a lot better in general, and it feels, you know, metal 
there's you can definitely tell the difference between the metal and the plastic on these things so that works great there's the sensitivity buttons it's got a sniper button on the side you have to install special software to use that and it basically just allows you to i think you macro it depending on the game that you're playing to put you into sniper mode or slow down the movement of the crosshairs and all that good stuff all right, to change the weights on the mouse, all you do is spin out these little things on the bottom. You can pretty much use a penny or a screwdriver, and it just has this little cylindrical weight that you can put back into the mouse. So there's looks like there's weight in all three quadrants. I don't know why you distribute the weight differently across it, but I'm sure people have their reasons. It didn't come with any additional weights that I could see in the box, so I think it's just a matter of adding that one and removing them. All right, I think it's time that we let the mouse speak for itself. And to do that, we're gonna need to play a game. So let's go ahead and play some Black Ops 2 and see how this thing handles. All right, we're gonna go play a round of Black Ops online with the new Corsair mouse and see, uh, see if it feels any different. It feels really good, it glides so smooth. Okay, I can adjust the sensitivity with the buttons right here. Looks like there's three levels of sensitivity. So on three, I can move it all the way from one side of the screen to another in, I'm going to say, an inch to half an inch. And on the lowest setting, I can move it from one side to the other in about three to four inches. So let's go ahead and try. The middle sensitivity feels the best. I do like the way this mouse feels. Uh, the Imperator is really comfortable, but it's also really plasticky. This feels, the material on it is completely non-slip. Like, the thumb is so grippy right here it feels almost like sandpaper i mean but comfortable and then the top is nice and smooth but it's grabby it grabs your skin and i like that it's only one way to tell if the mouse is any good though and that's if we go and play with it we've taken the advantage oh this mouse is so smooth my other mouse would hang up like if i grab this let's turn up the sensitivity a little Actually, I'm going to be honest, the mouse pad's doing more than the mouse was. Like, on the surface of my desk, it's really grabby. You still suck, James Pink. <laughs> on the surface of my desk, it's really grabby and it's hard to creep in on something. See how when I like move in, it's jerky? When I use the mouse pad, I can do a smooth movement. I couldn't do that before. Damn it, why didn't I have a good mouse pad? I probably didn't even need a new mouse. I just needed a better mouse pad. All right, where are you guys? Oh, nice. Well, I got one kill already. Not too shabby. Oh, got two kills. All right, that's rare. Oh, three kills. That was a gimme. Oh, four kills. Uh, guys, that's never happened. If you've watched my videos, I don't think I've ever killed four people. Wow. All right. Oh, shit. You were hiding behind the car, you asshole. All right. Feels like I've got a lot more control, though, especially with the mouse pad. Here, let's try, let's try switching to the Imperator. Oh shit, I didn't want to do that. Whoa! Not good, not good, not good. <laughs> I can't believe I got him. Um, the Imperator still feels a- oh shit. The Imperator still feels a little bit hitchy even on the mouse pad. It doesn't feel like I- when I put weight on it, it doesn't feel like I can move it as smoothly as I can the Corsair. The Corsair with the full weight of my hand on it, it glides so much smoother. Yeah, I'm gonna say as far as smooth movement, like micro movements, the Corsair kicks ass. Especially when you got all your weight on it. Oh, just gave up our location. Run! Yeah, this mouse and mouse pad is a bitchin' combo. And yes, I just said bitchin'. Express, tea bag express. <laughs> now you gotta do that. Dip, dip, potato chip. Suck dick, buddy. 
No, you suck a dick. Oh, I sucked a dick. I'm not gonna lie, the Imperator is a mouse feels more comfortable. This this steep arch on the back um, definitely is gonna take some getting used to. I'm not used to having my hands so arced. Uh, the Imperator is more low profile, but still, all things considered, it's so much smoother. And I think it's because it has so many feet on the bottom of it. I feel a lot more accurate with this mouse pad, though. The mouse pad seems to have made the biggest difference. Oh shit, I threw the. That was my fault. Should have been watching the radar. Oh shit. Oh, he got me. Alright, well, I came in second to last place, but I got more kills than deaths, and that never happens. I really do love the Corsair mouse. It's heavier, it feels like it's built completely out of metal. Um, the coating on it is very, very grippy on both sides to your hand. I haven't tried the sniper button yet. Um, I'll go ahead and install the software uh, to see if I can enable that feature. But, you know, for just testing a mouse, for just general mouse stuff, I don't really care too much for the software package. I care about the hardware itself. And this thing's built like a brick shit house. I mean, it's all metal. The whole underside, it's got these little weights that you can adjust. I think that's kind of more gimmicky, though, because I don't know how much weight you can... I mean, even if you remove the weight, it's not going to make it that much lighter. Uh, the cable is like, I mean, it's like military braided cable. I can't see you ever breaking this. It is off center, so just be aware of that. It does come out of the side. It doesn't come out of the center. So I don't know if that'll bug people with longer fingers. Um, but the wheel feels solid. The buttons for changing the sensitivity are really solid. The click on the buttons is great. Probably can't hear it very well. So... That's an awesome mouse. So it's a nice replacement to my Razer uh, Imperator mouse, which, but I'm probably gonna keep it around, to be honest. Um, and, but the thing that surprised the hell out of me during this review was the mouse pad. The mouse pad, a lot of you guys have been saying, get a mouse pad, get a mouse pad, get a mouse pad. And I'm like, hey, fuck you guys. I don't need a mouse pad. I got a desk, man. I got wood. Actually, I haven't been like that at all. But anyways, I finally get a mouse pad and I've had mouse pads before. I mean, I've got the trusty Hello Kitty, right? Uh, but the thing is, is the surface of this mouse pad, you feel it. And it, I, I mean, I can't really describe it. It feels like it's kind of grippy, but you put the mouse on it and it slides around like it's on damn ice skates. Um, and the bottom's rubberized. So, and it's really rubberized. So if you put it on a surface, it's not going to move around. And when I had the weight of my hand on it, it didn't slide at all. I think I was just pushing it too light when I was sliding it around on the desk earlier. Um, but it's very thin. The smell is already pretty much gone. Uh, the Myonix pad that I had smelled like, I mean, it made the whole room smell like ass. Um, but this is awesome. It's a great size. Uh, I would highly recommend it. It's very minimalistic and simple. I mean, there's not really much to it. It's, it's a mouse pad. It says Corsair on it. But just when I was playing the game, I noticed that it slides so much smoother. And I, and I didn't really notice until now that you really do need a mouse pad because when I use the gliders on the surface of my desk they they, they hang a little during slow movements it kind of hitches up a little so you get this like notchy movement and as soon as I started using a mouse pad I could start moving like millimeters and centimeters and smoothly moving the mouse so that right there made it all worth it for me guys I hope you had a nerdgasm I hope you enjoy these unboxings that I do all right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap this up right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you a nerdgasm. Please hit that like, favorite, and subscribe. Check out my many other videos, guys. I do tons of these unboxings. I also do tons of gaming on the triple monitor setup. Um, for this video, I just did a single monitor in uh, Black Ops. But if you check out my other videos, I do all kinds of stuff. I even do racing simulations. So if that's your bag, check them out. All right, guys. Take it easy. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, favor, and subscribe. It helps me a bunch. Also, come follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I love interacting with you guys. Power for days! <laughs> hey, I got mad batteries, man. Let's go. Come on, come on. <laughs> you found somebody racing, but we got to get over. Oh, do we? Yes. I think we missed our exit. Oh, did we? We did. Okay, not a big deal. Oh, we're down to four miles now. Uh-oh. Our, our street racing tendencies were not compatible with the EV of this car. Okay, get over one more, and then we'll, okay. we'll, we'll swoop it around.